The joy of growing potatoes welcome to the world of gardening. If you've ever dreamed of growing your own food, then planting potatoes is an excellent place to start. Potatoes are not only delicious and versatile, but they're also relatively easy to grow, making them a fantastic choice for beginner gardeners and seasoned pros alike. In this video, we will guide you through every step of the potato planting process, from selecting the right variety to harvesting your crop. Get ready to dig in and enjoy the rewards of your labor as we explore how to plant potatoes. Selecting the right variety before you begin the planting process, it's essential to choose the right potato variety for your garden. There are numerous types of potatoes, each with unique flavors, textures, and uses. Some popular varieties include Yukon Gold, known for its buttery flavor, Russet Burbank, perfect for baking, and Red Pontiac, which has a smooth, waxy texture ideal for salads. If you're growing potatoes for the first time, consider starting with a tried and true variety like Yukon Gold or Red Bliss. You can find seed potatoes at local garden centers, farmers markets, or online gardening stores. Always ensure you're purchasing certified seed potatoes to avoid disease. Preparing your planting site once you've selected your potato variety, it's time to prepare your planting site. Potatoes thrive in well-drained, fertile soil with plenty of organic matter. Ideally, choose a location that receives full sunlight for at least 6 hours a day. Begin by clearing the area of any weeds, rocks, or debris. Next, loosen the soil to a depth of about 12 inches using a shovel or garden fork. This aeration helps the roots grow more robustly. To enhance soil fertility, mix in compost or well-rotted manure. A soil pH between 5.0 and 7.0 is optimal for potatoes, so consider testing your soil and adjusting it if necessary. Chitting seed potatoes before planting, consider chitting your seed potatoes, which is the process of allowing them to sprout. This step is particularly beneficial for early season crops. To chit your potatoes, Place them in a cool, light place with good ventilation, like a sunny windowsill, about four to six weeks before planting. Position the seed potatoes with the eyes facing up. After a few weeks, you should notice small sprouts forming. This process encourages earlier harvests and increases your potato yield. Planting potatoes. Timing is key. Timing is crucial when it comes to planting potatoes. Ideally, Plant your seed potatoes in the spring, once the soil temperature reaches around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius, and the risk of frost has passed. In most regions, this is typically between late March and early April, but it can vary depending on your location. If you're in a warmer climate, you might be able to plant as early as February. Planting method. Traditional versus raised beds, you can plant potatoes in several ways, including traditional in-ground planting or using raised beds. If planting in the ground, create furrows that are about 3-4 inches deep, spaced about 2-3 feet apart. Place the seed potatoes in the furrows, ensuring that the sprouts are facing up. Space the potatoes about 12 inches apart. Cover the potatoes with soil and gently pat it down to remove air pockets. For raised beds, you can follow a similar procedure. Build a raised bed that is at least 12 inches deep, filled with a rich, well-draining soil mix. Plant the seed potatoes in the same way, ensuring adequate spacing. Raised beds offer better drainage and can help prevent disease. Watering. Keeping your potatoes happy once you've planted your potatoes, watering is vital. Potatoes require consistent moisture, especially during the early growing season. Water your potato plants thoroughly right after planting, ensuring the soil is moist but not soggy. As the plants begin to grow, continue to water them regularly, aiming for about 1-2 inches of water per week. If you live in an area with little rainfall, you may need to supplement with additional watering. Avoid getting the foliage wet when possible, as this can promote fungal diseases. 
Drip irrigation is an excellent option to keep the soil consistently moist while minimizing disease risks. Hilling. A crucial step for healthy potatoes as your potato plants grow, they will need to be hilled. Hilling involves mounding soil around the base of the plants to encourage tuber development and protect the potatoes from sunlight. This process helps to increase your yield and prevents greening, which occurs when potatoes are exposed to light. When the plants are about 6-8 inches tall, use a hoe or shovel to pull soil up around the stems, creating a mound about 4-6 inches high. Repeat this process every few weeks as the plants continue to grow. Fertilizing your potatoes Fertilizing your potatoes is essential to ensure they receive the nutrients they need to thrive. After planting and again when the plants are hilled, you can apply a balanced fertilizer, such as 101010, or a high phosphorus fertilizer to encourage tuber development. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application rates. Organic options like compost or fish emulsion can also be beneficial. Avoid over-fertilizing, as this can lead to excessive foliage growth at the expense of tuber development. Pest and disease management as your potatoes grow, it's crucial to monitor for pests and diseases. Common pests that affect potatoes include aphids, Colorado potato beetles, and wireworms. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of infestation. Handpick pests or use insecticidal soap to manage them. For disease prevention, practice crop rotation by planting potatoes in a different location each year to reduce the risk of soil-borne diseases. Avoid planting potatoes in areas where tomatoes, peppers, or eggplants have grown recently, as these plants are also susceptible to similar diseases. When to harvest your potatoes The timing of your potato harvest depends on the variety and your growing conditions. Generally, you can start harvesting new potatoes, young, immature tubers, about 2-3 weeks after the plants have finished flowering. If you prefer mature potatoes, wait until the foliage turns yellow and starts to die back, typically around 70,120 days after planting. To check for readiness, gently dig around the base of the plant to see if the tubers are the desired size. Harvesting techniques when it's time to harvest, it's essential to do so carefully to avoid damaging the potatoes. Use a garden fork or spade to loosen the soil around the plants, taking care not to pierce the tubers. Gently lift the plants from the ground, shaking off excess soil. Collect the potatoes by hand and place them in a basket or bucket. Be cautious not to expose them to direct sunlight for extended periods, as this can cause greening. Curing your potatoes after harvesting, it's vital to cure your potatoes for optimal storage. Curing helps to heal any cuts or bruises and enhances their flavor. To cure your potatoes, place them in a cool, dark, well-ventilated area with temperatures between 45 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius, for about two weeks. Avoid washing the potatoes during this period, as moisture can promote rot. Once cured, brush off any remaining soil and store your potatoes in a cool, dark, and dry location, such as a basement or pantry. Avoid storing them in the refrigerator, as this can lead to sweetening and spoilage. Storing your harvest proper storage of your harvested potatoes will ensure they remain fresh and tasty for months to come. Store your cured potatoes in a dark place to prevent greening. Ideal storage conditions include a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius, with high humidity. Using burlap sacks, cardboard boxes, or wooden crates allows for airflow while keeping them dark. Regularly check your stored potatoes for signs of sprouting or decay and remove any affected tubers immediately to prevent them from affecting the rest. Troubleshooting common issues throughout the growing season, you may encounter various challenges with your potato plants. Here are some common issues and solutions. Conclusion, enjoy your potato journey. Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive guide to planting potatoes. 
we hope you're feeling inspired and ready to start your own potato growing adventure. Remember, gardening is all about patience and experimentation, so don't be discouraged by setbacks, just learn and grow from them. Whether you enjoy the harvest in a cozy family meal or share with friends, there's something incredibly satisfying about enjoying the fruits of your labor. Happy gardening, and may your potato plants flourish.